So the first site I'm going to bring up is just virginiamemory.com. And this is the site of all of our digital collections um, here at the library. And I'll draw your attention to this section called Making History. These are the three projects I was mentioning earlier. And I'll just open each of these so we can take a quick look. If you've done this before, feel free to go ahead and start working. But if you are brand new, please pay attention. So here on our first website, Making History Transcribe, the URL of this site is virginiamemory.com slash transcribe. Um, if you scroll down the page, you're going to see several different collections from the Library of Virginia. And here in the footer, I'll just draw your attention also to these transcription tips and information about the project if you want to look at those at any time. So there are several collections listed, and if you click the Browse All link after each of the collection names, you'll see all of the different documents that are in that collection. If you click on the title of any document, it'll show you the different pages in it. So you can see this one has two pages, and both of them have this green flag that says Not Started, which means that we're good to work on those today. Look for the ones that say Not Started. So now that we're down at the page level, you can zoom in on the particular page and you'll be typing the text, all of the text on the page, in the window right near it. So we want to capture actually all of the text on this page. And you can see this one is a mix of a printed header and then a handwritten letter. So we want to actually capture all of this information about the different officers um, and the, the letterhead here. So I'm going to start typing right at the top. So the Illinois Equal Suffrage Association. And after you type just a few words, go ahead and hit that big red Save Transcription button. Um, I want you to save frequently throughout the day. That's going to make sure that we don't lose any of your work. And that's also going to help other people see which documents are being worked on. Yes, Nat? So, um, suppose there is an embossed letter of some kind, like a seal of the organization. You want to at least indicate that that's there in brackets? Sure, yes. Um, anything that you cannot read or that you want to indicate is there. Nat was asking about seals at the top of documents, uh, which you'll sometimes see. Anything you can't read, you can do in square brackets um, and say illegible. And don't worry about leaving several words that are difficult to read. Don't worry about marking them illegible because this is crowdsourcing. If you can't read it, maybe the next person can. And all of these are reviewed by our staff here at the library. So don't feel like you have to get every word. Sure. Sure. If you want to make any notes like that that are not part of the text of the original document, you can also do that within the square brackets. And that just lets people know that it's not part of the original text, but we're adding this description in. And another note that is important is that the format of the original document you don't have to duplicate that in your transcription. For instance, on this letter, I don't have to um, start with the officers and try to space it in exactly the same way. You just want to make searchable text. So I would say sort of use a logical hierarchy, move from the top of the letter down through the body of the letter, and just make it readable. Are there any other questions? Okay, well, if you run across things that you have questions about, again, please just raise your hand. There's lots of LVA staff here that can help you. Oh, yes. Sure, I'm going to talk about that project right now. Um, so, perfect. So, our second project that I had mentioned is about those World War I questionnaires. Um, and those are on fromthepage.com slash LVA. 
And remember, all of these projects can be found on virginiamemory.com. That's where you'll see links to each of these. So if you get lost, just come back to virginiamemory.com. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from the page is a website that does require a sign-in. Uh, there is a test account, or you can go ahead and register for one quickly yourself. I'll display this information on the screen in just a moment. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in so I can show you this platform. So these are all of the World War I questionnaires. They're from lots of different counties in Virginia. We are continuing to add more of these all the time. Um, so I'll just pick a county at random. Let's say, how about, well, we'll do Richmond, Virginia. So now it's showing me just the documents that are in Richmond. And there's a button on the side that says pages that need transcription. That's the one that you want to click on. That's going to show you everything in Richmond that still needs transcription. So here's a form at one of these World War I questionnaires from Atkinson, Joseph Garland. And I can tell that it's not been started on because there are four pages in it. If I click the Help Transcribe link there, it's going to take me into a, a version that looks very similar to the first site, where it's showing you the original document on the left. And then on the right, instead of having to type all of the text on this page, you only have to fill in the blanks, which I think we can all agree is better for this type of form. So because I already know this guy's name, um, I will type it here in the first set of blanks. And just like on Transcribe, as soon as you fill in just a little bit, you can go ahead and click Save Changes. Here at the top, there's also a checkbox that says Needs Review, which you can check if you want to be sure that someone else takes another look at this document. There's also, if you scroll to the bottom of this page, there's an area for Page Notes. So as we all know, humans don't always fill out forms the way they are intended. Sometimes you make your own notes, and some of these people that were returning these World War I questionnaires got very creative with how they filled in the form. So in that page notes area, that's where you can leave us any type of note that you want to about the content of that page. If they filled it out in a very unusual, funky manner, just note it there for us. So that is the second project uh, from the page. And you can find those at fromthepage.com slash LVA. I have one question. Yes. When, I'm, when I finish my four uh -huh. and I want to go back, you know, to... Do you want to go back just to the county or local collection or... To the next one to transcribe. I'm having troubles getting back to another person. Sure. Okay, one tip for you is at the top, um, let me look for pages. So one tip for you is when you get down into a document, you can always follow this little breadcrumb trail at the top to go back, for instance, to the Richmond VA collection. And you could just revisit that collection and click the pages that need transcription button again, and it would show you more that need transcription. And do you see this return to collection button? So all of these sites have a little bit of different navigation, and it can take a little getting used to. But again, please feel free to raise your hand, and we'll be happy to help you individually. So this is the third and final project I was talking about. This is our historic newspaper project, Virginia Chronicle. Uh, you can find it at virginiachronicle.com. So in addition to being an area where you can access all of these wonderful historic newspapers, you can also browse them by title and date. Um, I'll pick title. 
Hmm. Just sort of picking at random, looking for an interesting issue. So the Daily Times from August 1887. Let's see. So here's page one. And unlike the other websites we just looked at, it's showing you the original document on the right and then the text to correct on the left. So we can see that it's probably not perfect text, not a perfect representation of what's in that page. So we can try to improve that by clicking correct this text. And I'll start here just in the header. Uh, and make this say the Daily Times. And at the top of that window, you're going to see save, save and exit, and save and next. So I'm just going to click save and exit um, since I'm done working on that one right now. But you can work your way through any of the different newspapers. You can browse by title, which will often tell you the location, or by date if you're interested in very old newspapers. Maybe you have a family connection to a different place in Virginia. You can learn about them this way. So that's Virginia Chronicle. Those are the three sites we'll be using today, and we can help you with any of those if you have any trouble. Um, other than that, we'll be transcribing for a few minutes, and we'll soon have a presentation about reading old handwriting. So thank you all. <laughs>